Yes guys, my name is Morsi and welcome back to my channel. How you all doing guys? I hope you're having a fantastic weekend and you are enjoying the Premier League football that is currently on. I'm recording this on Thursday, so I'm a little bit before the start of the Premier League season, but you damn well know Saturday, Sunday, Friday night, I'm going to be watching every single second of it. But in today's video, I'm back with what is going to be episode 6 of my Aston Villa FIFA 21 career mode series. So last episode was a little bit of a nightmare. We started off with a loss against Spurs, which is unfortunate. I felt like we deserved to win, but it's nothing just went our way at the end of the day. And then we managed to get a last second equaliser against Leeds. I then decided to be an idiot and sim a game against West Ham, which we ended up losing 2-1. And then our last game of the episode was a cup fixture, the fourth round of the Carabao Cup. We started our youngsters, Jacob Ramsey and Co. just couldn't quite hang against Leicester City. And we crash out in the fourth round, losing 3-2. But we're back with a vengeance in today's episode, guys. I am not messing about. We want wins on wins on wins. We're sat seventh as it stands. Timmy Weyer is starting to drop off. He is one goal behind Human Son and level with Ziyech and Kane. So we need plenty of goals. You need to have some fun. You need to get three points back. And I want a clean sheet. Is that too much to ask for? All I want is a clean sheet, Emmy Martinez. Taking a look at our objectives, we need to get seven clean sheets in home matches this season. So, this is the episode. We need to start doing it. Also, sign one crucial first team player assigned to a forward position. I probably won't end up doing that. Maybe, because I've just seen a saucy little Donny right here. Ivan Tony, totally we're adding to the scouter. We're we'll scouting him up, you know, anything's possible. And of course, we did send off our five-star, five-star scout in the previous well, two episodes ago, I believe it was now. And we have got a monthly scouting report back. Nothing to really write home about which is a little bit disappointing from a five-star, five-star scout. You would expect something a little bit juicy. But in regards to players who currently got in our youth academy, not our youth staff, our youth academy, Morsi, we got this geezer, Ronnie Rogers. 58 overall, 73 to 93 overall potential. I probably will just sign him up and then loan him out just because why not? He's got a great name. He looks like a baller. And he's definitely uh, going to be one for the future. So first game of the episode, Sheffield United away from home, 18th in the table. Seriously, lads, we need a big, big, big bounce back. We're starting with the usual uh, 11 that we rocked in the previous episode. When Dia continue the form, Weyer, Ings get some goals. Let's not mess about. Let's get a win. We need to start learning the art of getting clean sheets. I don't know what it is. It's the drab backs. The drab backs always throw me off. We can score goals, but we also can see them. Let's work on that. Douglas Louise, beautiful stuff. Big interception. Come on now, boys. Timmy on the overlap. Great first touch. Use that pace after Burners. Cross goal. Ah, oh, it's a big save from Fodder, Fodderingham. Who's that? Love that. Lovely bit of play. Create a chance, Bailey. Fodderingham's there again. Love that little space created. Come on, Danny. Beautiful. Beautiful. The control is top tier. The man creates the space and he finds the back of the net. Big Danny Ings stepping up when needed. John McGinn powers his way forward. Nice composure in the box. That little jab back there. Oh, it's, it's a great finish as well. On his weak foot, finds the top corner. Kabaley. Kabaley. Oh, it's a ball. It's a ball. Leon! <laughs> Happy days. We've been struggling all game. All we need is that one goal, and here come the floodgates. Danny Ings turns provider, a nice little dainty dink through ball into Leon Bailey. When he's one-on-one -on -one like that, this man is not missing. Great ball from Danny Ings. Left-footed dink over the top. Looked like he pushed his man over. We'll take that. We learned that in training. And then rifles it in the back of the net. 2-0 to the boys. Darn Emmy. Boys, here we go. Floodgate season is well and truly open. Danny Ings again. Just finesse that, lad. Too easy. It's too easy for the Ingsa. Ings and Weyer link it up nicely. Weyer with the assist again. And this is more like it. This is where we should have been last episode, guys. I don't know why I struggled so much, but scoring goals are fun now. Oh dear. Oh dear. This is going to be good fight for the clean sheet, isn't it? Douglas Louise, don't send him off, ref. That's fine. I don't know what I was thinking. I honestly thought for a second I was controlling Konza and I had an easy chance to get the ball. But no, Douglas Louise has absolutely nuked him. And it is a penalty. Who is it? Ryan Brewster. Emmy Martinez, step up. What a penalty. Oh, Bailey. 
Little one. Way up. Oh, yeah. Now we're talking. Timmy's back in the goals. T14 himself. Yes. Lovely side. Quality bit of pace from Bailey there to kind of break away from the two defenders. I don't know what he's done with the quick control there, but he gets in behind. And a little dainty dink. Don't know why the replay's lagging a little bit. Uh, a bit of a weird one, but it's a good goal for the boys. We'll take it. One point there. Look at Bailey in all that space. It's a great ball. First. <laughs> what have I just scored? What have I just scored? I don't know why the replays are lagging in this game, but Buendia into Bailey. The scorpion kick off the post and in. We're gonna have to, we'll go back and watch it after, guys. I don't know why the replays are lagging, but what on earth was that? <laughs> it's too easy. I don't know, Ings gets his hat trick, but I don't know what the Sheffield United defender was doing there. I was zoning out completely. I just thought maybe I hit it up and try to have a scorpion kick. But Ings just runs onto it, finds the back of the net. Oh, he's done me. He's absolutely sold me a dream. But at the end of the day, it is 6 2, so we'll take it on the chin. But we definitely need to show up our defence because we are leaking goals. And I just, I just really want a clean sheet. There we have it guys, 6-2 win to start things off. We were not messing about, guys, honestly. I wanted revenge after the last episode. All right, this is it. No messing about. Fulham at home. I need home clean sheets. We're going to mix it up a little bit. I'm going to be a little bit cheeky with it. Douglas Louise is going to get benched for a game. And we're going to play way out on the right mid. And Watkins is going up front alongside Danny Ings. Apart from that, we are staying as we are going into this one, guys. Can we get a clean sheet? Can we do the impossible? The aim for this game is to defend, defend, defend. All right, I don't want to give a single opportunity to Fulham. I want to be so solid in the back. Oh, no. Oh, no. <sighs> Mate, this guy has absolutely sent me to Tesco back on the left there. Oh, pinched it. God, Matty. Quality player so far for us this career mode. Give it to him. Danny! Off the woodwork. In the offside. Unlucky for Danny Ings. I maybe could have gone for a finesse shot there, but we rushed it in all fairness. I thought it was to be attacked by the defender. He had the power on it. Couldn't find the back of the net, but guys, we're creating chances here. A little give and go action. Keep it going. Timmy. Timmy's on side. Timmy Weyer does not miss this. Timmy Weyer. Um, choose Timmy's pace again. Here we go, Timmy. Second time's a charm. Cross goal. Ollie! <laughs> You've got to be kidding me. How have we not scored yet? How? I guess he's stretching for it, but this is a shocker. So we're going into the half time at 0 0. Honestly, don't know how we've not scored. We've missed two absolute sitters, Timmy and Ollie Watkins, both striking wide. I'm going to mix it up. Timmy is actually going to go off. We're going to bring on a bit of Bertrand trial reaction at the right mid position. Apart from that, we're going to leave it as it is. Still not conceded, which is a positive. Fulham haven't offered much, but neither have we. Go on, Ollie. Are we on side? Bailey, be on side. Bailey! There it is. Just like that, guys. Is it going to be a repeat of the Sheffield United game? We struggled to score all of the first half. We get an early goal in the second and floodgates follow. I hope so. Bailey gets another goal. He is on fine form in today's episode. I still cannot go over that scorpion kick we scored in the previous game. I don't know why the highlight was laggy. Even when I went to go watch it back, it was lagging again. It must have been a little bug with the game, but he's continuing his scoring form. Watkins with the assist. Leon Bailey's on fire. Oh, it's a great pick out. And there's goal number two. Much needed goal number two. Bailey linking up with Danny Ings. The man is scoring for fun at the moment. Quality little finesse in the bottom hand corner. But that pick out from Bailey was on point. Nice bit of play from Watkins. Fakey. Oh, beautiful stuff. Great finish as well for me too. Oh, that's it. The play from Troy Watkins with the close down. Drive it home, Ollie. Cross goal. 
3 0. We're scoring for fun, guys. This is what I'm all about. That's what I'm talking about. We're getting the goals, we're not fluffing our chances. Floodgates have opened once again. 6 2 in our last match, 3 0 up at home against Fulham. Let's just stay defensively strong. I don't concede those silly goals here. This could be a clean sheet. 18 minutes to go. Surely we're not going to concede. Oh, the play is sensational. That team goal is top, top tier. Ollie Watkins gets another, the second for himself in this one. The nice little run from Buendia, the link up play from Ings, Bailey involved as well. That is a team goal now. We'll watch it one more time. Ings into Bailey, into Buendia, back to Ollie Watkins. Great first touch, and he finds the back of the net. 4 0. We've only gone and done the unthinkable. A Aston Villa clean sheet at home against Fulham. A well-deserved 4-0 win, some quality goals from the boys, Watkins, Ings, Bailey all getting on the score sheet. And most importantly, we keep a clean sheet. There's only five more to go in this season and then we have completed our seven home clean sheets uh, on the mark. And most importantly, we are still in the contention for top four. It is still very, very ambitious, but at the end of the day, you never know, we may manage to pull off a madness. But as long as we keep winning like 3-4-0, scoring six goals in a game, I'm pretty confident. So we are about to make another signing, guys. Yari Vasharan from Anderlecht, the young 19-year-old Belgian boy, 73 overall as it stands, Cam right wing centre mid. Definitely one for the future, and all we ended up spending was 8.7 million for the boy. So that is now three very young, promising players coming in in January. Chief Decore, Jeremy Doku, and Yari Vasharan are the three boys we are signing so far, and we are not done there. We still have plenty of money to spend, rocking about 18.5 million kicking about in the club. So we may look to offload a few players as well and bring in a big catalyst player. But I'm happy with the signings we have made so far, guys, and I honestly cannot wait to get to January. So to finish off this episode, guys, we've got an away fixture against Wolverhampton Wanderers. They are set seventh, one place behind us as it stands. If we can get a big win here, push a little bit ahead from seventh place and just keep pushing up and up the pitch, getting three points where we can and cement ourselves in the top six. That is the dream for this se uh, season. Jack Grealish's Man City are struggling. Four wins, seven draws and one losses for the Blues. They are sat in eighth place. And as it stands, Spurs, the guys who beat us in the previous episode, are still kicking ass at number one. But we're going to rotate it a little bit. Watkins keeps his place up front alongside Danny Ings. Buendia keeps his place in the centre mid of the park. And Bertrand Traore gets the start. So it's a very attackive team. I want to start on the front foot. I want to bag goals for fun. Wolves, have they strengthened? Is that Gabriel Paulista at the back, the ex-Arsenal boy? Apart from that, that looks like their standard team. Obviously, Jimenez is a threat. Traore is a threat. And so is Podence. And the five back. But let's do this, guys. Can we end on a W? Can we make it free for free in today's episode? I hope so. Let's see what we can do. The overlap, target, lovely stuff. Here we go, boys. Big whippage on that. Buendia. Huge save from Rui Patricio. Getting his feet involved in this one. I thought Emmy had a goal there, to be fair. Quality ball in from target. It's a difficult header. He gets his noggin to it, but solid stop for the keep. Oh, Bailey, use your pace. Got Watkins making a run in deep. Drive across, Danny Ings. Patricio has pulled off a Walden. Ah, oh, it's a great bit of play from Wolves and they get the goal. Ruben Neves coming through. Once again, the drab backs has ruined me. Guys, if you're playing all the difficulty on your career mode saves, please let me know that I'm not alone here. And it's not just my saves that drab back left, right and centre. Lovely bit of play from Juan Martinho. In to Ruben Neves and we're 1 0 down. Come on, boys. Wendia into Watkins. Use that pace, go around him. Little ball roll inside. Have you done the man, Ollie? Patricio again. I don't know how we've not scored yet, guys. So 1 0 down at half time. Neves with the goal. We've had three unreal chances and Patricio has saved every single one. We're not wasting time. He's coming on. Big Timmy is getting involved. Go on, Danny, use that pace. Danny Ings, battle, smash it. Let's go, the boy has done it. We get a goal back, and of course, it's Danny Ings. Great first touch, into space, managed to hold off the defender, use his pace, and then absolutely dispatch it in the bottom bin. Here we go, carrot at time. Big Bertrand leading the line, Timmy's in space. We've picked him out beautifully. Kimmy, this is it. No silly business, across to Danny Ings, and somehow, the Wolves have blocked it. 
pass, great ball. Emmy Martinez comes in huge. That is a massive save, guys. This game could go either way. There's only six minutes left to go. Wolves are looking lively. We've had the fair few shots of Danny Ings as well. And just like that, we'll do one now. It's that man has come back to haunt us. Raul Jimenez with a quality loop and header into the back of the net. Defensively, we were shocking. Probably should have brought the keeper out a little bit further. At the end of the day, whipped it in into no man's land. And there he is. Ah, oh, sit down. Come on now, lads. Four minutes left to go. Four minutes to put off a madness. Wendy. Emmy, this is your this is your time. You like to step up in these situations. There's no way. What a goal! Emmy Buendia has done it again. And that may be the goal of the season so far. Drove all the way from the midfield, took it down a couple of skill moves, a couple of shimmies, creates the space and finds the back of the net. Unreal. Simply unreal. Surely not. Danny Ings. Danny Ings. We've done the unthinkable. Lads, what have we just witnessed? Danny Ings. 2-1 down in the 88th minute when Dia pulls it back to 2 all. Just like that, the high press, we break in from centre and Danny Ings finds his way in on goal and absolutely buries it. I'm still speechless. I cannot believe what we just pulled off here. A 3-2 comeback against Wolves. In a matter of minutes, we have turned around a 2-1 defeat into a 3-2 win. And that means we end off today's episode back in the top four. Arsenal in fifth, do have a game in hand, they could overtake us. But what an episode. A huge win to start things off, a 6-2 thrashing, a 4-0 win against Fulham. And then just when you think we're taking the L, 2-1 down to Wolves in the 88th minute, when Dia and Ings link up. But that is where we're going to end this one, guys. If you are enjoying the series, do get down in the comment section and let me know. Drop me a like if you're feeling generous. And I'll catch you very soon for episode 7 of my Aston Villa career mode series. Take it easy.